whenever we can because it's one of the strengths of the collection. But also show that there's representation as well as abstraction that gets transformed. Or these are works by Harold Edgerton, uh, um, scientist and photographer based at MIT, which he, he was um, pioneering in discovering strobe photography. So he had multiple strobe photographs as someone is dying. So it's also a sequence of parts. It's something that's divided into smaller parts. Or the releasing of the dove. Or here we have the story of Abraham by Rembrandt. So I want, I've always wanted to say, come upstairs and see our Rembrandt yeah. yeah. so um, And so, yeah, so this is also a sequence. They weren't done intended to be, but they tell that the story of Abraham is told in these two images, and so we put them together and we can talk about it. And then on the outside of the wall, oh, and then on this wall will be um, this print and uh, another um, print that's, it's called, it's concave and convex by the artist Ellsworth Kelly. We didn't talk about the, the large sculpture that's in our lobby, but we, we can. But anyway, so that's a pair of works, and they've always been shown side by side. What I'm going to do is stack them, and so to show that there are transformations. It's kind of like also what they talked about um, with the Rauschenberg piece of shuffling the collection in different ways so people can see it. And then on the outer walls, I'm going to do a, a kind of meditation on beginning, middle, and end. And so we're starting, we're going to show two port child portraits. Um, because in the course of life, we have childhood, we have adulthood, and then we have um, the final years. Um, and so we'll have um, figurative work that talk about that. There's a very moving series of, um, of, por of portraits by uh, photographer Nick Nixon um, from Boston that, I, that someone I actually knew when I was living in Boston that um, were taken during the beginning of the AIDS crisis where he followed um, the illness and eventual death of, um, of someone who had AIDS. And that's, I think, a very poignant piece that's never been shown. So, but to put it in context of the cycle of life, we also have some spectacular landscapes. So we'll also have on these walls, juxtaposed with the pictures of the children, we'll have pictures of morning, of morning scenes. Um, and so people will say, well, what's the point? We'll have the beginning of the talk. So hopefully it'll trigger people to, to, to reflect on 